Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to uh, June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump uh, straight away to the spread. All right, so the first card which represents Virgo's topic of the week is going to be the Five of Wands, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges for Virgo. This is going to be the Nine of Cups. Afterwards stands the positive aspect of the week that is to be the Knight of Pentacles. And the last one which is in regards to the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to Virgo, we have the Eight of, uh, the eight of Cups. All right, so once again, uh, Five of Wands is the topic, followed by the Nine of Cups, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect. And the final card here, it is to be the Guidance Eight of Cups. Okay, uh, Virgos, this is, this is going to be a rather very dynamic week. The Five of uh, Wands is one of the most dynamical cards into the Tarot. It's because it kind of like dapples the activity of the uh, of the time frame we're talking about with a lot of surprises, and we're talking about probably everyday surprises, which are offering a quite of turnarounds into many situations, <clears throat> into your career, uh, into your relationship as well, and that's why when we have the uh, five of wands, any kind of idea or any kind of way can be uh, enforced. For that reason, uh, <clears throat> this particular week, you may find rather openings um, into the circumstances that is to enforce your will, uh, to enforce your idea, or to find a way how to um, proceed further with, uh, with your idea or with your will, that is. Um, <clears throat> and also, what positive thing about the week is that uh, we are to have someone that you are going to uh, have a, a chance to cooperate with. That will be the Knight of Pentacles, which comes as a positive card here. And uh, we're going to talk about this person uh, in a little bit. But now let's focus on the Five of Wands. So as we said, Five of Wands it is a, about traversing a um, situations and having a lot of surprises pleasant or unpleasant, it doesn't really matter. The thing is that with those surprising events that are happening into your environment, you have a, quite a good chance to traverse um, situations of failure into a, a situations of success. It's a really positive aspect of the Five of Wands. This is one of the most positive aspects of the Five of Wands. Now, of course, Five of Wands carries on as well some confrontations that you may have, mainly uh, mainly regarding to a uh, differences in between ideas, in between you and your co-workers, for example. It could be also in between you and your wife or a husband. It could be like, you know, 
you you have an idea uh, the family has an idea to buy a car but you can't uh, find a, a an agreement should the car be BMW or Mercedes for example these kind of stuff that anybody is guess it's equally good and it's all uh, up to you know a compromise which guess is going to be uh, executed in throughout the week but you will have the uh, circumstances to enforce your will uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the tree of pentacles <clears throat> The formation it is a active neutrals that we have and with the three of pentacles uh, this combo here speaks for a little bit of an ignorance and unyieldingness meaning that it is it is going to be rather quite unlikely that you would be the one who who will want to make um, the compromise here but rather you will wait for the other party to do it which has nothing wrong with it it's just you need to know that as well with the tree of pentacles sitting into this uh into this position it could amplify a little bit you know the disagreements and the arguments that you may have in between you and your friends you know co-workers um suitors or i uh partners in life by this amplification i mean that they could evolve into a a, a wrangles okay but nothing harm is gonna come out of it of course it will be better if you both kind of talk let's say calmly in a calm fashion and try to reach a, a mutual agreement like a, a mutual criteria but uh, nonetheless uh, Virgo ultimately at the end it seems that uh, you will have it your way so that leads us to the next card which stands for the challenges and that is going to be the nine of cups so the nine of cups as a challenging card it it speaks for well, it's going to be challenging to have it your way, although you're going to have it your way, you know, so it's something that you will have to go through, you know, a lot of processes that you will have to go through. But the thing with the Nine of Cups is that the most challenging thing is that once you have it your way, you know, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, how to sustain it. That will be the real challenge here with the Nine of Cups because Nine of Cups, even though promises wish fulfillment, you know, sensual joy and a lot of exhilarating experiences as well, almost wish coming true, reaching that point where wish is coming true, for example, buying the BMW that you want it, it is one thing, but sustaining that uh, enterprise and traversing it from a short-term happiness into a long, into a long-lasting one, needs to be secured, and it will require maintenance. So that is the point here that you may have difficulties exerting the maintenance due to a um, understanding, or rather, like a, a standpoint that thing is granted. So do not make that mistake, but keep on, you know the good maintenance upon this uh, upon this enterprise it could involve for example that you are to start a relationship which is uh, quite exhilarating you know and, and, and quite good and based on the first couple of cards it is very dynamic one it's very surprising you know not necessarily all the surprises are going to be of your liking but you're going to be very happy of it that you are finally into relationship and you need to uh, to exert maintenance upon this uh, relationship you need to constantly keep up with the motion of that relationship the accompanied card here that is to be the queen of swords formation it is a, a passive neutral so as a passive neutral to the to the um <clears throat> nine of cups uh the queen points that being uh how can i place it being way too i would say inconsistent although i cannot find the right english word here uh or i would say scampering around not being um too long upon one standpoint it's uh it's gonna be as well rather challenging for you what i mean is that you do have one aim or one goal either into career or either into a relationship you reach halfway through the goal, you know, and suddenly you change into something else because it seems more appealing. That will be a, a severe problem because, as we said, you need to exert maintenance. And uh, the thing is with these couple of cards as well, Virgo, is that you are going to feel very capable or very successful in a sense of that uh, everything that comes 
towards you as an endeavor or as an enterprise, uh, you will feel like you can push through and that is where the problem comes from, that you will have a difficult time defining what you want to do. And this is where the positive aspect steps in. So that will be a the Knights of Pentacles and the Knights of Pentacles appear as a, a person and this is a, a person who definitely knows what they want. And uh, as a person, the Knight of Pentacles also, uh, it's very consistent and uh, it supports its actions with uh, a high amount of determination and as well, um, how do you say it? Well, let's leave it that way. Determination oh, and compassion. Okay. So uh, this person could serve as an, an example or as a, a someone who guides slash helps you into uh, into being consistent and into being focused upon only one thing uh, at the time. Additionally to that, the, the, the Knight of Pentacles, it may not be a person, but although I think that this card will be rather a personalized into your reading, but still as a general one, I have to say the other one. And the other one, uh, the other interpretation of the Knight of Pentacles is that you may have an opportunity to spend some time among nature and recharge your vital you know, vital energy, so have some time for rest. And why I don't think that this is uh, this is how the card is going to take place or how it's going to manifest during the Five of Wands, saying that the week is going to be very dynamic. So you, it is unlikely that you will have some time to catch up your breath, but you constantly need to keep up with the flow and with the current. The accompanied card here that is to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune formation. It is a, a passive neutral, so once again, that we do have. And as the Wheel of Fortune comes as neutral to the Knight of Pentacles, is only strengthening the consistency of the Knight of uh, Pentacles, realizing that well, we do have an expression here into our country saying that when when you aim uh, when you aim to sit on two chairs, you often find you often gonna find yourself on the ground. Meaning that you know it is better to focus on just only one thing and get it right, rather than try to fill up your basket with many apples uh, until a, a point where it's gonna be very difficult for you to carry on that basket. All right. So yeah, I do believe that this person is going to be something like a counselor, advisor, or someone that simply gives you a an, an example of a, a consistency and how successful they are with their consistency. And also, you know, they can give you a, a very good advice, how you can keep up with it, and uh, how you can, you know, let's say, feel satisfied by only having one endeavor to push on forward with. And finally, what we have for you, Virgo, that is to be the uh, Eight of Cups, which is the guidance for you. And uh, it's very peculiar card having it in this uh, in this position because usually the the Eight of Cups is about is regarding um, resignation. It's it's it regards being humble upon the current state of the situation, moving on from it, knowing that better things are to come around. But in this case, I do believe that the Eight of Cups is speaking about um, recognizing the right opportunity or that you will have a that astute sense of knowing which opportunity is right and how exactly, you know, you can sustain or exert maintenance upon your uh, upon your achievements, knowing that not every time, you know, this maintenance, it's rather pleasant, but should you um, traverse this threshold of um, poignancy in regards to the maintenance itself, you know, the end results is going to definitely worth it. The accompanied card here that is to be the Seven of Pentacles and uh, the formation, it is a, a passive friends that we have. So uh, what these cards really talk about here as a guidance now, it is that um, you are to take your time with the maintenance itself, with keeping the support upon your relationship, upon your career, you know, and these kind of stuff, knowing that um, <clears throat> it all comes to uh, securing your position. It all comes to that. And uh, how can I describe it? Well, that building up foundations 
it is the most important thing for the positive unfoldment in the future in regards to uh, in regards to your endeavors. So the seven of pentacles, it is more like a, a card of a preparation currently rather than a card of uh, uh, rather than a card of deliberation. And uh, it also points that uh, every the, the, these couple of cards also point that there is always a room to add to make a additional things into either your relationship or into either your career. So uh, it, these couple of cards points that even though right now you need to make to put maintenance and you need to uh, you know secure uh, this uh, achievement of yours. Further down the road, uh, the time is going to come where you will start building up even on top of it, rather like expanding it, sprawling it, or you name it. Okay, so uh, this was uh, your um, weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for a uh, June 10th to June 16th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.